Hey everybody, Mike Wardinsky here, and today I've got a quick tip video to show you how to quickly call and delete photos in Lightroom Classic. Now, if you know you just want to delete a bunch of photos and don't really need to look at them, all you need to do is go to the grid view by hitting the G key, and then we can just go ahead and select this first photo, and I can go all the way down to the bottom, shift click, and let's say I don't want to delete one of these, I can always command click on a Mac or control click on a PC and that will unselect it. If I want to reselect it, just again, hold command and click with the mouse or control on a PC. And now I have all the photos selected and I can just hit delete. And Lightroom's telling us that it's going to remove 66 photos from the catalog. Do you want to remove them from Lightroom or delete them from the disk? Typically when I'm doing this, I want to delete all the photos, not just from Lightroom, but from the hard drive as well. So I'm gonna choose delete from disk. And so there we go, we just deleted them all. Now it's important to note that once you do this, the photos will be deleted from Lightroom and your hard drive. And so there's no undoing this step. So it's really important to know that you really want to delete the photos before you do that. Now let's go back in time and pretend that we didn't delete all of the photos from our hard drive and start fresh. Most of the time, you're gonna to wanna to look at these photos one by one. I prefer to do this in the develop module over the loop view because the develop module is gonna ensure that no embedded previews are on the image and we're seeing the image in its full resolution. And now I'm gonna show you how to call your photos very quickly. If we hit the X key on the keyboard, you can see it says marked as reject. And if I look in the lower left-hand corner, this little X flag has been added to the image. And if I hit the right key on the keyboard, that will advance me to the next image. And from here, I could either hit the X key to mark it as a reject. I could hit the P key to give it a pick flag, which is sort of just a, a signifier to saying, hey, I like this image. I typically don't use these until I'm getting close to the end of the editing process though. And if I wanna remove all the flags, I can hit the U key to remove the flag. Additionally, I can use number keys one through five to add star ratings. If I wanna remove the star ratings, I can hit zero and that will go ahead and remove the rating. And so I'm just gonna demonstrate really quickly how we can go through and mark these photos as efficiently as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the caps locks key on. And what that will do is advance the image every single time I press a key. So if I hit a star rating, it will advance the next image. If I hit an X key, it will advance the next image and so on and so forth. So go ahead and hit the X key since our fox is looking away. Here it's kind of looking up. Maybe we'll keep one of these. And again, kind of looking away. So I'll hit X, X. And he's kind of looking towards us. So um, we'll go ahead and hit a three star here. Now I'll use the arrow keys to toggle between this photo and the next photo since they're very similar. Trying to decide which one I like better. I think I like the first, so I'll move to the next one and go ahead and hit X. Now, when I'm working on wildlife or portraits, I wanna make sure the eyes are as sharp as possible. So I'll go ahead and zoom in here. I'm at 100%. Sometimes I may even zoom in to 200% if the animal's a little bit further off in the scene, but typically 100% is a pretty good starting point to, to make check for sharpness. And if I'm not certain on a photo, I'll go ahead to the next photo and compare the two. And again, this guy's a little further out, so maybe we'll go into 200% and look here. And it looks like this first photo is a little bit sharper than the second one. The second one's quite soft. Now, if I looked at this at fit, there is no way I could tell the difference. And that's why it's really important to zoom into 100% or sometimes 200% to check for sharpness. So since the second one is less sharp, I'll go ahead and hit the X key here and delete that one. And now I'm gonna back out to the grid view by hitting the G key. Now you can see I have a number of reject flags on these photos. If I hold command on a Mac or control on a PC and then hit the delete key, that's going to delete any photo within this folder or collection that has a reject flag on it. So in this case, we have seven and I can choose to either remove them from Lightroom or delete from disk. In this case, again, we're gonna delete from disk. And that's all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and check out some of my other videos and don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.